Let's talk about society and politics. Presented by Smith Co. Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk About Society and Politics, the um, show that talks about society and politics. You know, as the title suggests. But you know, clickbait, you don't really know what, what, what is what anymore. Uh, people lie all the time. Anyway, today we're going to be discussing private and public schools. Uh, so first of all, I'd like to just uh, make the point that uh, we'll be using the method of uh, private schools whereby, you know, the person pays extra money um, for the school. So it's not, it's not paid for the government. Now, obviously, some countries do not have public schools or that that's, I mean, obviously what I'm saying is just that, that that's what I, public schools are, are schools that like get government funding or, you know, are, you know, the person doesn't have to pay full amount. Maybe they have to pay a small amount, uh, but they don't have to pay the full amount of for the education. Uh, anyway, so today we're going to be discussing the problems with them. So firstly, of course, one of the main things that, that a lot of the time that the history of private schools are in, in particular in the Western world, is that obviously after when the governments begin to have public schools, private schools tend to become a lot more on the more um, well wealthy person side because not many people can afford to go to private school because it's just not really economically sound. And you know they used to have this sort of thing where it's like oh well you get better, you get a better educa- you get a better education there. And of course the reasoning behind that was okay well the teachers that you know you can essentially get the best teachers in the country by offering them you know higher salaries offering them you know smaller classrooms you know and also in a way just essentially um, and this is a, this is a problem that a lot of private schools are able to do because they're private they're able to say no we're not letting you in so technically a private, I, I, if I was if I set up a private school I could say we have the best best students in the co- some of the best students in the country but I could do that by simply just not accepting anyone who falls below a certain grade so people do say the private schools are better but others are like well no that's not actually accurate because Especially nowadays, especially especially nowadays, especially in the Western world, because in the Western world now, schools are certain schools that are public are getting more funding, um, which means that they're able to reduce classroom sizes, they're able to provide better resources. Obviously, that's not all schools, and it will depend from school to school. But some schools are actually beginning to perform well, um, uh, pretty much as good as, as as private schools because they're now at that level whereby private schools have now become this sort of um a lot of private schools not all private schools uh, once again i'm repeating myself but not all private schools are obviously um like this but a lot of private schools nowadays are in the position where they're providing essentially luxury to the sons and daughters of the wealthy so what that means is that if you're going off and you've got a swimming pool at your school, yeah, I mean, that's unlikely. Um, you know, when I was at school, uh, I, I did not have a swimming pool in my school. I, I didn't really have that kind of a thing available for me to use. And that's the sort of thing, because I didn't go to, to that kind of school. I didn't go to a school that, that where you pay a fortune out. And you'll see this, that, that um, uh, you know, a lot of the time people are forking over thousands just to attend schools and this isn't universities that's sort of the point this is university level education so t- strictly speaking you know it's not a high class university so what's weird about it is that it is actually treated like university in the sense that there is a very um you know kind of um you you there are ways to get jobs by you know going with uh, previous um well, previous pupils of the school and there's a very big kind of old boy type of um, grouping and that's a problem because when you see this sort of thing where private schools are something which in um, my country they receive they do receive money from the state but they don't they then that then the state doesn't say well now that means you have to accept students free of charge well you know not actually not completely free of charge there are some charges involved but you know Basically, you don't have, you can't charge them like uh, a particular fee, which you say is your, you know, enrollment fee. You can't say, oh, well, this is this is the fee for being in the school. But you can say, well, this is the fee for, you know, uh, supplies, the, you know, for 
trips. This is the fee for, you know, any resources that are required, like, you know, and that's the point. You can add those fees on at times, and some schools do, but you can't have thousands, you can't charge people thousands, but this is different for schools. For, in my country, maybe this is not the same in your country. In my country, they receive millions. Millions every single year, hundred million is, is is hand over to these private schools, and that's a problem because do you really want? Because I understand, yes, we you don't want schools to not have the proper resources, but why would you have them as private schools? The whole purpose of private schools are they're supported by, you know, the private industry. So I understand at some point when you're going, well, this is an add-on. So you're saying, well, if if you give a school, you know, half a million. And they've got a thousand students. Then you know you 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 say well that's that's you know what you're giving them, and then the people when they charge extra that they add that on, they make the school value. But the problem is that private schools are run as businesses in many in many places, and once things start running as businesses, that's a bad thing realistically because at that point. You have to think, well, no, you're making money off this though. So why would you receive government funding when you're making more money that you could actually cut out that government funding by simply cutting down your profits? As in your profits could turn into the replacement of the government funding. And that's the problem. But then you've got the issue of, well, why don't you just turn them into, pro into public schools? Or at least some way, because the problem with private schools is that they are a little bit like, um, you know, private tuition or um, grinds, whereby they're actually, I wouldn't say they're actually that, they're may, some people argue they're more beneficial for the student, which is they can actually become a grind school, whereby they just are just, you know, working uh, uh, longer hours, just doing a lot more, um, well, a lot more, <sighs> examination work I guess you'd say and and the problem with that is that this kind of as we discussed in the previous video this kind of thing where we go well no that you don't want a system whereby you say okay this is this is how much money someone is making um, that means they are able to get their child to have an amazing education and they're able to get their child you know into a really good school so any university will just go wow yeah this person went to this school yeah let's accept them and then boom there you go they were the university education and suddenly now they're wanted all over the place and that the problem with that is that that is helping the uh, oppression really by by really <laughs> Having the wealthy being able to just essentially just always be able to go on top, not because not actually, and at the end of the day, you'll see this in ability wise, there isn't really much there a lot of the time because you know, if if you if you're always paying the way, then you're sure you might be able to look good, you might be able to say, Well, oh, yes, this person went to this school, this person went to this, and it's very high class, and everyone's like, Oh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's a very good school, yeah, it must have been very high to get in there, whatever the case may be, but the fact of the matter is, then when you begin to think about it, it's like, Well, that's actually oppressing this sort of thing because it shouldn't, you, you paid, essentially, you could argue, Well, you paid your way there, and well, some people are like, Well, yeah, but they want to achieve their best result, yeah. I understand that if you want to, be, you know, achieve your best result, that's that's okay. But at the end of the day, do you really? Because what happens is, if you get, you know, ninety percent in in something, but that's because you you um you uh, got an extra teacher, or you had grinds, or whatever the case may be, or you went to a private school. Uh, which, by the way, in a lot of cases are actually, I will say this uh, once more, are actually not better than ordinary schools. They are a little bit more on the luxurious side, and that is really kind of the end to it. And some, of course, would argue that that is, um, you know, that private schools are kind of a waste of money. But anyway, uh, getting back to the point, it's that, you see, when you look at this, you see a hint of this sort of um, idea of, well, this is what you know, someone has paid for this, so is it, it doesn't really make any sense because if they're paid for this, then surely that means that they now are pushing the requirements up. Because if I'm not able to pay for uh, grinds in a subject, or just I'm not able to pay to go to a private school, I'm not able to pay to go to a, a, a grind school, I'm not able to pay to help those um, grades rise, then 
well, I'm going to achieve a worse result than someone who's got the exact same level of intelligence as me, the exact same ability, and the exact same drive to work. Because at that level, you start to question it, and you go, well, hold on a second. If that's the case, if you've got someone in this position, well, why exactly should that be? Because, you know, it means that I would perform worse on a, you know, at a view level, what someone's viewing it as, than someone who, who um, who's able to pay their way over here. And then, of course, once again, uh, if you, there is, as, as I said early in the video, there is the old boys network where thing where you got gear more likely in some cases. And some people would say, well, even then, the amount of money you're spending is really worth it. And, you know, others would say yes, and some would say no. But the fact of the matter is, it does, even if it's not worth the money that you're spending, it is still oppressing. Because if, if you're quite wealthy, you know, then <sighs> there's a certain level whereby you can almost, there's like a certain amount of nepotism that you can use because you have that amount of wealth. You could, you know, set up a company or an education company, or if you run a company already, you could, set up a company, you could have the person there and you could put that person in, 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 in that level of job. And then the thing is, once you have that, because once you have those connections, which you generally will have if you're, if you, if someone is in the wealthier racket, um, I will, you know, if, if someone is like, I'm like, you know, person to person to person to person to person wealthiness. This is like not oh they made their name. This is literally this person being this person's family being wealthy for generations back, and that is the issue because then that wealth begins to build because as you know, the more wealth you have, while yes you can lose a lot of wealth. Specifically uh, in America, you can lose a lot of wealth. You know because it's not a very safe. War. It is a lot easier to lose money if you're obviously poorer but it is you know still relatively easy to lose wealth if you're not that um lucky uh you know uh, in in the world but at the end of the day you know if you've got that generation 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 thing you are uh, helping the oppression um and the inequality extend out but of course you know can you solve this issue some would say no, because, you know, if, if someone wants to attend a private school, well, I mean, if they want to enjoy the luxuries of life, well, they're enjoying the luxuries of life anyway, at their home, you know, in their general lifestyle, outside of education. So how is it very, how is it equal to say, how is it fun to say, oh, well, no, that's fine when they're in the world enough, but it's not fine when they're being educated. And that, of course, is the problem. When you run into the stopping back of, well, then you start to think, well, maybe it's the education system that's it's it's that's maybe the issue that you're seeing here, because you know the education around the world, eh, education is very important, but making that education equal is very important because it's not one good to say, oh yes, we will build a school, we will two schools, we will three schools. That's you can say that if you're planning to build more or if you want to have built more, but if you just say you built a, pri built a private school and people have to pay to go there. Well, that's more of an investment on your behalf. And an investment is not really something you want. You want people to say, well, no, we can educate people and we can educate them equally. We can have a fair education system because you don't want to say, well, yes, this person, you know, could, you know, they could do this job, but they can't because they don't have the educational qualifications they don't have that grade they don't have that university degree except they could do the job and that is really the problem here because as we said before it reinforces that and that is a major issue so if you know you want to change your educational system well um yeah that's something that you might want to do if you're building a new educational system then that is something you want to do because it is very important that education is equal because if it's not, then what you're looking at is many, many years of very, like, just a tremendous amount of problems. So remember, always try to keep education equal. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. 
Thank you for listening to Let's Talk About Society and Politics. If you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that would be good. You know, subscriptions apparently are, are a good thing to have. Um, so that, thank you if, if, if you if you did that. And um, thank you in advance if, if you're going to do that. If you want to view other videos, uh, personally, I think that, that's better. But I think in the growth sense, apparently, subscribers are better. But uh, I mean, I think, I think viewing, viewing, video, viewing other videos is good, you know? I think it's good. Yeah, and thank you if you are. If you, if you have viewed other videos, that's good. And if you're going to view other videos, once again, thanks.